Well, first of all, uh, we're going to get to the next part of our program. We're here to recognize uh, graduating seniors and a lot of success stories in our city school district. Uh, I'm going to say, first of all, congratulations to all our graduates this year. Uh, it is years of hard work. It's great. To me, it's a great time in life, great accomplishment. Uh, hopefully off to college and starting forging, forging your careers. The seniors we want to honor this year, but we have some very, very special success stories. And today we're going to honor young people who didn't have it easy. Uh, who came uh, to school, came to Rochester, had a number of struggles, but did some extraordinary things. And I think if you are like me, you will listen to some of these stories and walk away inspired. Uh, because our kids today, they're, they're facing more challenges than ever. And sometimes you hear things, and sometimes they're stereotyping about schools and kids. Uh, hey, we all, it's room to improve uh, for everybody, but when you listen to these stories, it is clearly, it's inspirational. So I'm going to call up uh, one at a time. I'm going to do a little uh, overview uh, why we're recognizing each one of these young people. And we have a very special young person at the very end who's going to address uh, our audience today. So I'm going to start and call up first Jensen Car Carballo from Thomas Jefferson High School. Jensen. Is Jensen here? Oh. Well, Jensen will come in as we start here, but uh, Jensen is an inspirational young man. He has been bound to a wheelchair most of his life, battling life-threatening illnesses. He lives on his own in an assisted living situation. He's going to receive the 2009 Richard Masters Scholarship for his academic success and personal determination. He'll be attending MCC in the fall. So uh, maybe Jensen could not get here. I want to give him a big round of applause, and if he comes at the end, we'll bring him up. Next, from Thomas Jefferson High School, I'm going to, and I'm going to work on the pronunciations, and uh, let's see, Liesor Dima. Liesor Dima from Thomas Jefferson High School. <laughs> Hope there wasn't a, a communication with Jefferson High School, but we're going to uh, go through uh, Liesor. Uh, has, Throughout, all through, although Liesor has been a victim of poverty, hunger, civil war, and refugee camps, he is a survivor. His family fled their home in Sudan. And after many years in refugee camps, his father brought the family to the U.S. Liesor arrives speaking little English. He has now mastered the English language and has an overall GPA of 4.512. He is attending St. John Fisher College. He's attending St. John Fisher College in the fall, majoring in biology. He hopes one day to work in the United Nations. So, uh, Liesor Dima, uh, I want to give him the very best of our congratulations. And again, if, if uh, these young people come in later, we'll bring them up and recognize them. Moving on to East High School, An Din. Is An here? Okay. Uh, actually, we have a principal here from East High School. I'm welcome. This is uh, Ann is cannot be here. She had conflicts. But Ann Din arrived in the U.S. two years ago from Vietnam, not speaking a word of English. Ann has overcome her language barrier and has become an accomplished pianist. She was accepted as a scholarship student in the Rochester City School District Pathways Program with the Eastman School of Music. Despite the language struggles, Ann has persevered and will be attending St. John Fisher College in the fall to study pharmacy. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Congratulations. Hey. Next, from Wilson Magnet High School, Mayette Gabriel Johannes. Mayette. Can I give this to you? Don't leave yet. Mayette came to the U.S. from Ethiopia. Mayette entered the International Baccalaureate Program at Wilson. Not only did she have to uh, keep up a rigorous IB program, but she also had to learn the English language. Mayette is involved in many extracurricular activities such as bowling, track, and a culture club. She is attending SUNY New Paltz, New Paltz to major in international relations. Great job, Mayette. Congratulations. <laughs> Next from the Global Media Arts High School at Franklin, Enoch Henry.
Enoch is, is known as a gentle giant to his peers. Enoch has experienced a lot of ups and downs during his academic career. He maintained perfect attendance while he faced being evicted by his guardian. Enoch's true passion lies in medicine. He is involved in a youth apprenticeship at the University of Rochester. Enoch's goal is to attend a U of R majoring in pre-med. So I'm gonna, if he comes, I'm gonna give him a round of applause. Next from Shalott High School, Von Derrick Knight. Is Von Derrick here? Hopefully they're all in school, which is a good thing. But uh, to, to, and Von, Derrick, uh, Von Derrick Knight from Shalott High School. Von Derrick has been a Shalott High School student for the last few years. His grades started out as mediocre, but with his diligence and hard work, they have transformed into honor roll and high honor roll grades. After graduating, Von Derrick plans to enlist in the U.S. Navy. So I'm going to give him a round of applause. Next from his School of the Arts, uh, Osea Miles. Is Osea here? Well, Osea is a major, is a voice major for School of the Arts. Osea performed in many productions, which led her to receiving several awards, including Best Soloist at the annual Heritage High School Music Festival competition. In the fall, she'll begin her bachelor's degree at the Eastman School of Music on a full scholarship. So, Osea Miles. Next, from the School of Imaging and Information Technology at Edison, Elliot Paulus. Well, I think we're batting about 200 so far. Uh, Elliot uh, won first place in a poetry slam competition at Edison. His win led him to be part of the Rock City Poetry Slam team in 2007 and 08. He has also performed on Russell Simmons' HBO series, Brave New Voices. Elliot's inspiration for his work is social injustice as well as obstacles in his life he has overcome, such as abandonment and poverty. He is a volunteer with Teen Empowerment and will attend Finger Lakes Community College in the fall to major in theater arts. So, Elliot, a round of applause. <laughs> Next, we're honoring Richard or Ricky Santos from the Bioscience and Health Careers High School at Franklin. Ricky came to Franklin in June of 2008. Upon entering Franklin, Ricky was short in credits, earned, and Regents exams passed. Ricky made graduating on time his goal. He enrolled in summer school. Ricky took lunch study classes, doubled his workload. He was victorious in his plan to graduate. He is graduating. He plans to attend Monroe Community College. So, Ricky Santos. <laughs> Next, we have both Ellis and Elijah Snipes from the School Without Walls. Got a note here today, apparently a number of students are taking finals today, which is, a, it is the most important place to be. But Ellis and Elijah Snipe, School Without Walls. Ellis and Elijah are twin brothers who are fifth year graduates at School Without Walls. The brothers intended to graduate their fourth year, but didn't because of missed deadlines and incomplete senior projects. Next year, Elijah will study psychology at MCC, while Ellis will study culinary arts at Paul Smith's College in the Adirondacks. So Ellis and Elijah, congratulations. <laughs> Next, uh, we're honoring Crystal Vachetto from Dr. Freddie Thomas High School. Crystal volunteers at Grace United Methodist Church's community breakfast each Saturday. She also volunteers for Habitat for Humanity. Crystal has received her cert certification in the first responder course and is to start with Monroe Ambulance after graduation. Crystal plans to pursue EMT training at MCC. So, Crystal, good luck to you. Next, honoring Maurice Wims from Wilson Magnet High School. All right, Maurice. One second. Congratulations, I want to read this to you. Maurice was raised by a single mom until the age of 14 when his mother died suddenly. He moved in with his older brother who was paralyzed from a gunshot injury. He is consistently on honor roll as part of the Hillside Work Scholarship Connection Program. He will attend Niagara Community College in the fall. He is the first member of his family to attend college immediately after graduating. He attributes his success to his desire to make his mother proud, even though she is not physically with him. What a great job. Maurice, good luck to you. Congratulations. Next, we're honoring our Vail Victorians from the City School District, uh, Felicia Bevel from East High School. Felicia. Her, 
Her principal is here, so she must be taking her exams. Well, Felicia has taken nine AP classes and is a, profession, a proficient flute player studying at the Eastman School of Music on a scholarship. She has received academic awards from Yale, Bausch and Lomb, the Chemical Society, and the Urban League. She also has done chemistry research at RIT and a dental internship in, at Anthony Jordan Health Center. Felicia is class president and a member of the National Honor Society. She'll be attending Columbia University on a full scholarship. Wow, great job. Thank you. Next is uh, Kanisha Cherry Irby, Bioscience and Health Careers School at Franklin. Is Kanisha here? Kanisha has made honor roll every marking period of her high school career. She's also a member of the National Honor Society, has been recognized by the Urban League of Rochester as a black scholar. Kanisha volunteers her time reading to elementary students. She will attend Monroe Community College in the fall, majoring in biology. So, to Kanisha, congratulations. Next, Eduardo Gonzalez, Monroe High School. It's a great story. Uh, Eduardo came to the U.S. in Puerto Rico in 2000. As a senior, he's taken AP courses. He's also a teaching assistant for, a biotechnology, for biotechnology and is involved in a number of extracurricular activities. He juggles his school responsibilities while working at Wegmans part-time to help support his family. For the past six years, Eduardo has earned a Board of Education's Hispanic Heritage Award. Eduardo will attend MIT this fall on a full scholarship and major in biological engineering. Outstanding. And Eduardo will be coming back up at the end to address us. Next, uh, Giovanni Eustachio Martinez from the Wilson Magnet Commencement Academy. Giovanni. Congratulations. Giovanni is a member of both the National Honor Society and the French Honor Society. For the past two summers, Giovanni has interned as a researcher for the U of R Neurobiology Lab. Giovanni also volunteers at a local nursing home. He will attend the University of Rochester this fall. Congratulations. Okay, great job. Congratulations. Next is Ashley Ferguson from the Global Media Arts High School at Franklin. Is Ashley here? Ashley is a member of the student government and volunteers at the Nathaniel Hawthorne School No. 25 to read to the students. Ashley enjoys singing in her church. She's also a participant in the Women of Hope program. Ashley is an Urban League of Rochester Black Scholar, and she will also attend RIT this fall. So, Ashley, congratulations. <laughs> Next is Ferdinand Gonzalez from Dr. Freddie Thomas High School. Ferdinand has taken many AP and advanced regents level classes, all while maintaining an A average. Ferdinand is also a member of the National Honor Society the varsity, and the varsity bowling team. He volunteers at his church, playing in a band. Uh, Ferdinand has been accepted in the 2 plus 2 program at MCC and RIT, where he will major in engineering. Great job. Next uh, is Sambun Kiyo Fetalasi. Is Sambun here? From Thomas Jefferson High School. Is he, which I think is one of the schools that has their final exams today, as well as East. As a member of a non native English home, Sambun began learning English in elementary school and has since mastered the language. He maintains a 4.0 average in all of his classes and carries a 4.95 GPA. He received the R right. Whoa, that's a round of applause in itself. He received the RIT Computing Medal for his achievements in the biological and computer sciences. Samboon will attend the University of Buffalo in the fall, majoring in biology. Great job, Samboon. <laughs> Next, from the School of Engineering and Manufacturing at Edison, David Lash, Lash Steyer, or Steyer. David Lash Steyer from Edison. 
David has been president of First Robotics and captain of the robotics building team for the past three years. David has a brown belt in Kung Fu and teaches younger students. David will graduate with an advanced Regents diploma. He's also a recipient of the Monroe Professionals Engineering Society Scholarship. He will attend RIT in the fall to major in mechanical engineering. Congratulations, David. Next is Lonnie Marie Lee from the School of Imaging and Information at, at Edison. Lonnie has received honors, high honors, and honors with distinction recognition for academic achievements. Lonnie was also a contributing author for the Susan B. Anthony Frederick Douglass Freedom Heroes Children's Book produced by IIT. In her spare time, she volunteers. Lonnie will attend Monroe Community College in the fall. If you haven't seen the book, it is a beautiful work of art. Lonnie, congratulations. Next is Claudine Margolis from the School of the Arts. Sure, Claudine is here. Uh, Claudine is an instrument music major at Soda. She plays alto saxophone, clarinet, and piano. Claudine received the Bausch and Lomb Honorary Science Award and Scholarship and Clarkson University's High School Leadership Award. She is a member of the National Honor Society. Claudine has earned the privilege of being Soda Valedictorian for the class of 2009 and will graduate with a New York State Advanced Regents Diploma with honors. Claudine will attend Boston University in the fall where she will study math. Congratulations, Claudine. Next, this young man we know is not attending, so uh, it's Joseph Reese from Charlotte High School, and Joe is a member of the varsity baseball and varsity volleyball team. He's also a boxer. Although he's involved in many activities, he has still maintained a GPA of 3.8. Joe is a member of the National Honor Society. He also works part-time at Wegmans. Joe received the New York State Department of Education Award for Academic Excellence, and he will attend Cuca College in the fall. Congratulations, Joseph. And next is Ashley Washington from the School of Applied Technology at Edison. Ashley. <laughs> Ashley is ranked number one in her graduating class. She has been taking honors classes and has been on high honor roll since the ninth grade. Ashley has been enrolled in electrical shop class for three years, learning residential and commercial wiring. She would like to join an electrician's union, but is attending SUNY Brockport, where she plans to major in psychology. Ashley, congratulations. Great job. Good luck here. How about a big round of applause for all our valedictorians and honorees? I'd like to have them all come up and join me behind the podium, and I'd like to also invite now Eduardo Gonzalez, who was up here a few minutes ago. Eduardo will address us this morning, and he's a young man who has the full scholarship ride to MIT. So if all the valedictorians and honorees come up behind Eduardo, and we want to pay our respects and honor each and every one of you for all your great accomplishments, and I think Eduardo is in a great position just to convey what this means. So please welcome our honorees. Morning. Uh, I'm not sure what to say because they told me I had to speak today, so um, not exactly sure what I'm supposed to say. Uh, <laughs> all I can say is Rochester is a great community. Um, I've received a lot of help from the community, from the school, um, my family, and my parents, and I'm sure every valedictorian here has had help from the city. Um, we owe the, the community to our, our successes. We are a success to the community. So we'd like to thank you all. And I can leave you guys with a piece of advice. We come into this world in certain circumstances, and we have no control over those circumstances. But what we can do is overcome them. And you can't use them as an excuse. You just need to keep going. And as we've heard here today, all these people were born to these circumstances, but they succeeded anyway. So give them a round of applause. Thank you.
we have volunteers to speak if anybody wants to. Well, you know, I, that's, the whole program is about these young men and women. I think you, you heard it already. Uh, it is great accomplishment. Everyone is going to college. They have worked hard. Uh, they have persevered, uh, and some in very, very difficult circumstances, and have excelled. And I just would close by saying this. Uh, I think we're in pretty good shape to have young people uh, of this level, these abilities here. And often you don't hear about this because the problems that we have, uh, the, when the bad things happen, takes precedence. Here's a great opportunity just to, for all of us to honor young men and women who did the right thing, worked hard, they're the future of this city. And I just want to close by thanking each and every one of them for what they've done. They're great examples and role models for their peers. Uh, I want to thank our young artists over here for their hard work and what they have done. It's, uh, it really is about success of our children. I, I want to thank all the moms and dads and grandparents and family members here because it would not happen without you at home. I appreciate all the hard work. I know, having two kids, I know what it is for studying and work and projects and all the things that you do. So I thank the families here who are such a big part of these kids' success. And I want to thank the teachers, faculty, and staff of the school district. Thank Superintendent Broussard, all the faculty and staff. I mean, we are blessed with some great teachers and, and, that help children. This is really a success story today. As the mayor and with all of our staff here, we are just very, very proud of what these kids have accomplished. I would urge the media, please, to interview these young men and women. Uh, they, they epitomize what success is all about. So I thank you all for coming. I wish you guys the very best. I hope you all come back to work for the city of Rochester someday. Thank you, guys.